Ah, Mr. Andre Sukumtot, how are you, sir? I'm good, Eddie. How are you, bro? Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you for joining me once again. You are currently 12 and 6 in your mixed martial arts journey. Uh, originally scheduled to face Gavin Tucker at UFC Moncton. Um, Tucker's out, and UFC newcomer Jonathan Martinez is stepping in. So, aside from the opponent replacement, how are things? Everything is good, you know. Um, I, I can't complain. Uh, training has been good, and I'm healthy. That's the most important part. So, no matter what happens, you know, next weekend, I'll be ready for it. No matter what happens. Okay, so the last time we saw you in the Octagon, it was back in March, UFC 222, uh, really exciting fight with Sean O'Malley. O'Malley comes out hot in the first round, you had to battle through some really tough adversity. You came out in the second round swinging, you got yourself a takedown, the rest of the fight pretty much, or the rest of that round pretty much occurred on the floor. Round three comes and O'Malley uh, appeared to hurt his leg, it might have been from a kick, and uh and you started going after him, and you started picking up a whole bunch of takedowns. Um, turns out O'Malley went on to win the decision. Um, but it seemed as if maybe there was a, a, a chance where you could have just maybe backed off of O'Malley, and the fight would have been stopped. Uh, so what was going through your head at the time when you saw him injured, uh, but you, you were still uh, going for the takedowns? Hey, you know, uh I just felt like I had the advantage on the ground, and I felt like I was better than him on the ground, so, you know, I decided to take him down the third round. I knew that he was hurt, like, when he kicked me, mm -hmm. and he actually broke, whatever, he hurt himself on my forearm, you know, when he kicked me, and so I didn't realize how bad he was actually hurt, so I just figured out, you know, let's get this fight back to the ground. Because, uh, you know, he, he did some damage to me standing up, man. And, you know, at the same time, I'm a little rocked. And it's a 15-minute fight. I just got rocked, like, you know, 10 minutes before that. You know, right. I couldn't find my corner. And I took some other shots, too, in the second, second round and the third round. So, honestly, I should have just backed up and stood up and won the fight that way. But... What can you do, man? You know, I uh, I already I went through the phase. You know, through 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 that that time, I'm, I'm over it. I'm done with that chapter, and now it's time to move on. You know, the most important thing is um, I learned from my losses, from my mistakes, um, and and I and I try to do things better. You know, um, I wasn't in the best shape that fight camp. No excuses, but you know I. I nearly tore my uh, MCL right wow. the day right after I signed the contract. So I'm actually proud of myself for for going through the camp of physical therapy and then basically just like two or three weeks of full training, still not 100 percent, and getting a fight in that bonus in Vegas on the main card. So um, only I know that though, you know, the rest of the world doesn't need to know that. I'm just saying. Now, I'm just telling you now, mm -hmm. but um, I'm actually proud of myself for finishing that fight and going through that camp. And it's actually made me such a stronger person just going through that whole experience. I'm glad to hear you got a bonus because I think there's been a couple fights that you've been involved in that, that should have been awarded a Fight of the Night honors, but got skipped over for whatever reason. So congratulations on the bonus. And I mean, the Thank fight you. was exciting. Like It was definitely uh, unforgettable, like one of those unforgettable uh, matchups for sure. Yes, sir. Uh, so recently, O'Malley came out and admitted to a potential USADA violation. Uh, what do you What do you make of that? He says it's a it's contaminated supplements, misunderstanding. He's going to get it cleared up. You got any any thoughts on that whole situation? Um, I'm just keeping my mouth shut with that whole situation right now because I don't know what the situation is. You know, I'm not going to go out and assume that Sean O'Malley was using. PDs or whatever during our fight, you know, I'm, that's not in my character. You know, he's a talented kid, and he knows how to work the crowd. He knows how to get his opponents emotional, and that's what he did to me. You know, he won fair and square. But um, if, if I can say anything, uh, listen, I, you know, O'Malley's got a big following. I'm sure he's making a lot of bread. 
But Cherry's got a strong team behind him of nutritionists and trainers. And I'm sure he's got people looking, you know, making sure he's taking the right thing. So for a tainted supplement, I don't know. You know, um, I could probably say maybe he's... Because if you look at his body, he's not like the most diesel ripped guy anyways. But he is tall, so maybe... Maybe he's taking something to help him make 135. That's what I'm. That's all I'm thinking, or the weed or something. But <laughs> it, it said it had nothing to do with the weed, so that's the only thing I could be thinking of. If it's not a tainted supplement, that he's taking something to make 35 because he's frequently big for the division. Yeah, he, he's definitely really tall and and, and long for that division. Yeah, that's like a diuretic sure. or something, you know. So, yeah. but I, that's just what I think. You know, I'm not. Assuming saying that he is, but if it wasn't a tainted supplement, it's probably that because who knows, man? Uh, I'm I'm interested to find out too. Well, I guess we will see. That's for sure. So after that fight, um, I, I I've been seeing on social media that there was a dam that that gave way out in Laos, and you being Laotian, uh, I saw you with all sorts of different fundraising activities, kind of generating. Some some funds to kind of give back and send that way. Um, what what was uh what were you able to raise altogether, and what what was your overall uh, you know takeaway from that unfortunate event? You know, um, through whatever happened, man, in Laos to my people. Uh, once I heard about that, my heart just like sank to the floor because they already have nothing, you know, and then to lose everything when you already have nothing. And I can't imagine that. So, you know, families were separated. Um, people passed away from were injured. People lost lost their, their belongings. And, you know, I, I just thought one day I was driving in the car, you know, and then I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do something to raise some money. I don't know how, but I'm going to do something. Especially me being somebody in my position, I'm going to do something. So, you know, I'm not the richest guy in the world. I don't make a lot of money. You know, people think I'm in the UFC. No, I don't make a lot of money. Uh, right now, in the U.S. seeing something. I'm a millionaire, so I'm like, you know, I can't just donate thousands and thousands of dollars. So what? What can I do? So what I did was I earned the money. I earned the money by um, first I started off, you know, me and my wife put our heads together, and and a lot, some of our friends gave us ideas, and um, I, I decided to raffle off all of my um, UFC walkout gear, my hats, my, my shorts, my fight shorts that I've, I've actually fought in, and my, and my walkout shirts, and jackets. So I raffled that off online on Facebook and, you know, I made about maybe $1,200 from that, from all my stuff. So awesome. that was pretty cool that people, people helped me out and supported that. And um, a friend of mine actually matched that donation because he, he liked what I was doing. I was just like, wow, that, that's pretty amazing, you know. And, um, and I was just like, you know, I'm going to earn the rest of the money. So I decided to uh, train people. So usually a private training session would be, you know, $50, $75, right? So what I do is I'll do, you know, a half hour for $50, and I'll do five rounds for $25 so that people can afford them and still have an experience to train with a UFC fighter like myself and, and, and give to a good cause. So I raised about, I would say, 1800 to $2,000 with my private sessions. I held about 22 sessions, you know, oh, wow. from Florida from Florida to Rhode Island, so that was all my time, money that I worked for, that I, that I earned. And, um, you know, I had a, another friend, he, you know, some friends, he did some fundraisers of, of their own. He owned a nail salon, and he gave, he gave me some money for, for the um, fundraiser. So, all in all, we came up with about $4,500 um, just wow. in a week's time. That's impressive. That's really impressive. So, um, you know, I want to thank everybody that was a part of it, whether you donated money or, you, you know, you, you took a private lesson with me. You supported in some way, bought one of my kids. I, I really appreciate that, man. And um, I was so happy to send that money to, to Adpo Laos. Yeah, that's incredible. And hats off to you for even, you know, taking it upon yourself to go through all that and put in the time, put in the work, put in the effort uh, just to give back. I think that's really awesome. And uh, I think things like that need to be celebrated. There's so much negativity going around in the media. You know, I, I think it's I think it's great. I appreciate you uh, keeping up with that, man, and mentioning that you're probably the first person to ever uh, ask me a question. 
Yeah, absolutely, Thank absolutely. You. I mean, I'm a fan. I follow. I follow you along on, on social media and all that. <laughs> you know. Thank you. Uh, so you're headed to UFC Moncton, replacement opponent, 9-1, Jonathan Martinez, new to the UFC. Um, what are your thoughts on the replacement? I mean, you think it's a decent matchup, or what's your take on it? It's going to be my fifth fight in the UFC, you know, and I learned a lot last year. Um, and it's his first fight, and I have plans to put him away, put him away in the first round and um, show him that, show the whole world. You know, I have a lot of people show up and show the whole world that I, I'm still going to do damage in the 135 division and, um, you know, fully focused. Uh, I'm going to be a problem. Okay, and how is training camp going? And who are you training with with for this one? Training camp's good. You know, I uh, I did my first four weeks down in Florida at Hard Knocks 365, like usually. We're handing roof in the crew, Greg Jones. But um, I decided to um, come back home for five weeks of my camp, to end camp. So um, I've been back in Rhode Island since um, September, since mid-September. I've been back in Rhode Island training with my old team at Triforce MMA, Diamond Dave and my father, and Lozon MMA. Um, and it's been going great, man. It's been going great. We just finished up. We just wrapped up our last sparring session last night. It was epic. You know, and um, I'm so glad that I don't have to punch anybody in the face anymore or get punched in the face. But um, I'm glad I made that move. Uh, I actually left my family behind, you know, so I, I am going to be without them for six weeks. I get to see them next week. I'm very excited to see them, but that's after the job gets done. You know, I, uh, I sacrificed my time with them, being away from them, coming back to my old team. And I can't wait to show the world what, um, you know, what me and my team in Rhode Island can do. You know, the guys that I was turning over. So. I know you said first round. Is it going to be a knockout or a submission? Oh, it's going to be a knockout for sure. I'm going, to, I'm going back to what I'm good at, you know, and that's throwing these hands, throwing these knees, throwing these kicks, and, and, and stand up and fight. You know, not just about putting on a show, but putting people away. I dig it. Uh, you got any sponsors or any people that you want to give a special shout-out to that have been helping you along your journey? For sure. Um, uh, UrbanKangster.com. Check them out on IG. Pretty cool videos. You can fit a whole iPad in this little pocket. Rock him right now. Thank you guys for the support. Um, Chef and your plans, like always. And, you know, I just want to give a shout out to uh, all my teammates in Florida and in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. You know, um, my coaches in Florida and in Rhode Island. You know, I felt like. My team in Rhode Island, you know, they, and my training partners, my coaches, they, they went to sleep and they woke up thinking about me. Um, and, I, and I think that's something that I really need in this camp. And I cannot wait to show the world what I can do. Awesome. Yeah. Well, what are your social media outlets? How can people follow you along your journey? Guys, check me out. Andre Soup MMA on IG, on Twitter, and follow my Facebook page. Um, you guys want some inspiration? Uh, follow my page for sure, man. Mr. Andre Sukumtaw, thank you once again for joining me. Thanks, bro. Jonathan Martinez is in your crosshairs. UFC Fight Night 138, Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, October 27th. Best of luck to you, sir. Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much.